Well, over the weekend, Northern Rocky Mountain Grotto held their second annual cave camp in the town of Monarch, located in the Little Belt Mountains. MTN's Josh Many was there, hanging out with 125 caving enthusiasts who came from 13 states and two Canadian provinces. I'm here hanging on a rope at the Intro to Vertical Caving workshop where I'm learning how to rappel into and climb back out of a vertical cave. Keynote speaker, legendary caver Bill Steele pioneered caving in Montana in the 1970s and 80s. His team enjoyed Montana's wilderness where they had to climb high to go deep. They took techniques they learned in Montana down to southern Mexico, where they ventured into the deepest known cave in the western hemisphere. Climb very high in the mountain, go very deep inside the mountain, come back out high in the mountain and then go down off the mountain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the camp also invited beginners, such as Athena, whose dad, respected in the field, discovered a cave and named it after her. This time at cave camp is like the first time I've ever been on vertical year. And just yesterday was the first day that I actually climbed up a rope using ascending gear. Today we are learning about how to create a pulley system to go save fellow cavers. Another aspect, stewardship. The camp held a cleanup and graffiti removal of nearby Lick Creek Cave. There's a lot of things that can live in caves, and so we want to keep them clean so that they can live there but still so that the public can go in and see the caves. Really the goal of cave camp is to build community. Caving, we don't, we don't advertise these trips on the website. We, we more just try to meet people and bring them together and talk about stuff that way. There were also geology and biology workshops. And on Sunday, members explored 22 different caves in the area. In Monarch, Josh Many, MTN News.